Hey, I'm Sean. Welcome to Edge of Breakup. Today, we're going to be looking into the newest release from Mother Mary Company. Now, Mother Mary is actually uh, better known probably for the guitar straps they make. I love their straps. They're really safe on um, nitrocellulose finishes, and most of my guitars have nitro on them. And believe me, you don't want to find out what happens when you put like a fake leather or, you know, a synthetic strap on a nitro guitar. It eats the finish. And so... Um, Mother Mary were one of the earliest supporters when I started this channel. I love the design shops they brought to their guitar straps. Really creative and really fun, uh, but also tasteful and not too overly wrought. They reached out a while back and they wanted to highlight their new fuzz pedal called the Fly. Now, this is one of those big form factor fuzzes that's kind of in vogue right now. You have a tone knob, a fuzz knob, and a volume knob, but let's be honest, folks, we're just going to go ahead and crank this with the full fuzz and full volume today and use our guitar to control it and kind of see what happens when we clean it up and mess with the volume and tone controls. This circuit is loosely based on the Univox Super Fuzz, but it's had a lot of tweaks and improvements to make it more to Mother Mary Company's taste to increase the volume and be a little bit more tonally versatile with that tone knob. Anthony from Mother Mary tells me he really wanted to create a wall of sound type of energy from this fuzz. He'd always loved the super fuzz, but he didn't like how limited it was tonally and thought he could improve it. I think he's done that. Because of the extra amount of control, this pedal will work great in a live situation. You'll be able to dial it into your rig and the room every time. Another thing I love about the super fuzz circuit, especially this improved one, is that rolling off the volume on your guitar is gonna give you almost an Octavia sound. We're going to hit it with my 1967 ES335 that I just picked up. The fatter humbuckers really hit this circuit in just the right way. I love being able to use the separate tone and volume controls to blend with the middle position on the pickup switch. Thanks, Mother Mary. Let's go check it out. This is not a polite fuzz. This fuzz is resonant, it will rip your face off. Expect for it to be pretty unruly, especially the moment I kick it on, you're really gonna hear the difference. got like a science fiction ray gun vibe is a little bit Octavia or ring modulator like and it gets very eccentric when you turn your volume down I really liked the volume down sounds a lot Play triads or full chord voicings with it, you're gonna get broken up ring modulation textures, but they're not unusable, they're just really super eccentric, and I bet they would actually sound fantastic in a mix with drums and bass, filling out the rest of the frequency spectrum. are going to give you almost a trumpet or horn-like voice to use. You're not going to have any trouble cutting through any mix you sit this in, that's for sure. I'm going to start turning the volume on the guitar down and listen to how the timbre of the sound changes significantly. You're going to hear horn sounds and a little bit of Octavia going on.
There's a little bit of an envelope you can play with. When you play soft, you don't get quite of that spiky, trumpety lead tone. It kind of sits back a little bit, but when you dig in, it comes right back. So it's a very dynamic effect with the volume down. sounds like I'm playing keys a little bit, which is wild. It's crazy that I could be above the 12th fret on a guitar and get like Rhodes vibes almost. Back to full blast with the volume and tone knobs. Let's hear the magic with the Amp 100 boost channel rounding off and clipping some of that amazing chaos from the fly. 